Hi, Shelly Thompson here. Welcome to Health Pulse and Health Pulse's series on core strength. Now last week we looked at some very basic exercises to help you to increase your core strength. But I got a lot of feedback on people that already had back pain. So today what we're going to look at is different ways to stretch your back out to help you alleviate some of the pain that you're feeling back there so that you can get started on your core strength too. So we're going to get started by doing some very simple things that you can do to help stretch out your back muscles. So let's get going. So let's just take a moment and look at the muscles in our back and talk about the way that they work. Now a lot of people will feel pain in their back and their lower back and the muscle isn't shown here but it runs right up the spine on either side and it's called the erector spinae. A lot of people will feel pain in that muscle down towards their lumbar part of their spine, which is the bottom part here, because the erector spinae is the muscle that holds us erect. So it does get a lot of work every single day, and it can feel stress. So a lot of times that's where our pain comes from if, if it isn't skeletal, you know. So the latissimus dorsi here runs around our back and around the front of your rib cage. And then our trapezius is up here towards our neck. And a lot of people will carry a lot of tension in that area. That's a lot of times where your um, tension headaches will initiate. Rear delts here on the backs of the shoulders. And then I talked about the exterior intercoastals and how they helped us to breathe last week. This is where they're located. So, and here's the latissimus dorsi on this end. And then it all works down into the glutes. So that's basically what we're talking about in our muscular systems in our back. There's a ton more muscles in there. These are the very basic muscles that you've probably heard about. So we're going to start finding ways right now to get these things stretched out and make you start feeling better. Now one of the first things that you're going to want to do if you're having lower back pain is that you're going to want to increase the circulation in that area of your back. This will help healing to happen in the muscles and the spine, so let's look at a couple of ways that we can do that. Now, the easiest way is to lay on your back, bring your knees up above your hips so you're square here, and just do little circles in your lower back. Just feeling your back roll from side to side and reverse it the other way. Like I said the last time, anything you do one way, you need to do the other way because we aren't really symmetrical and if we don't do things evenly, then we will be even less symmetrical. So this is a really easy way to just increase the circulation in your back. Now, one really good way to separate your little vertebrae, leave space for your discs, and stretch out your lower back is to bring your knees to your chest and give yourself a little hug. Now you're lifting your tailbone up off the floor here, and that's allowing you're back to stretch somewhat. Now, as you just release, think about laying one little piece of your spine back on the floor at a time and think about stretching it long. So you're reaching right out the top of your head and you're pulling your spine up and then you're just slowly laying it back down. That's a really good way to stretch out your lower back. 